Holy cow, guys. Did you see what happened to Netflix? Let's check this out. Netflix shares fall 18% on slowing subscriber growth. Now keep in mind, they beat on both top and bottom lines, but this all had to do with subscriber growth. They referenced in the first quarter of 2022, it expects to add 2.5 million subscribers compared to 3.9 million it added in Q1 of 2021, essentially starting to slow down. Now let's take a look at the chart. This was a crazy move, guys. For the last year, well, last half year, it had been climbing and then it kind of started to fall a little bit. But for that preceding year, it was in range in this 480 area. It has broken that. It is now down around the 406, 407 range. 385 is really the area that I'm most interested in to see if it breaks down too. And if it starts to break that, you could see even further weakness because right now subscribers and users appear on this market, at least for these growth stocks, to be much more important. I think that 385 is going to hold the reason why it is grossly oversold. Now, keep in mind, I use a six period RSI for this. So oversold looks different on different charts, but let's take a look at the options. All right. The first thing I want to point out, look at the open interest down here. Incredible, right? Look at the open interest on the calls down here. Like none of them, right? I mean, you, you'll see a discrepancy there, but still, you know, this was, this was a pretty good call. These were probably members of Congress or something. <laughs> you guys got to admit they're amazing traders, especially Nancy's husband is, is epic. But I want you to look at how evenly split puts and calls were at least for today. And I think these are within range. These are expiration of next week. I truly think you could go down and test 385. For me personally, I like the spread here on the top two. Notice this massive spread for the 380s. I don't think that's as reasonable, even though these are up. If I was going to play a post earnings play, I'd probably go for the 400s and just pay the little extra because of the fact they didn't have quite as much volatility. And even though they're going to be up massive, I still think this gets beat up because remember when they report after hours, it's really only institutions that are trading a ton of that and options aren't being traded at that point. So that's my thoughts on that. Anyways, that's my approach with these particular options. But I want to get your thoughts on Netflix as well, because I don't know about you, but I actually canceled my subscription this past month. Just found that I wasn't watching it as much as I thought that I would be. I've been busy with other things that are more important, like making money. So in other words, I'm kind of curious to get people's take on whether they think Netflix is still going to dominate and this is just an opportunity to buy in low again and they're going to continue to, you know, excel in the streaming wars. Or do you think that Netflix is, is kind of reaching a turning point in terms of content uh, and competition from the likes of like Disney Plus? You know, there's a lot that, that, that want to compete but won't necessarily. But I want to get your take. I want to know, do you have a Netflix subscription still? If so, what are you thinking about the content? Anyways, those are my thoughts on that. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye.